Magic. This doesn't look like they a sent lot. them their first round pick this year. They also gave up three. I need to do it. 19 second post before we even get started. And I'm going to save the rust take for a bit later. You know what I'm saying? Get the mystery in the air. But I do want to say this. Um, In the last video, I made a comment on um the. It, he was talking about holding on the coos and I walked away. A part was cut out that I did admit. Bro is going crazy as of late. I ain't going to cap. He is. Good for coos. I still stand by every goddamn thing I meant. Hold on for dear life is nasty language. But he's going crazy. I, I do want y'all to acknowledge that. It was cut out. Blockbuster in every sense of the word. And Big Perk, I'll come to you in a minute. But Woj, I, I did want to start with you. I just how this deal that, that, that came together. As Wendy and I were talking earlier, you have to believe that LeBron and AD are consulted. Everyone is sort of in on this thing, and, and the entire organization felt good about it. How did this thing come together? Yeah, I mean, at the same time they were talking about this Wizards deal, the Lakers were talking with Sacramento alone. about a Buddy Heald trade <laughs> mm -hmm. that would have been, you know, a couple of the same players, uh, Kuzma, Harrell. Uh, no draft pick that would have gone back to sack for Buddy Heald, younger, more of a I, you know, certainly be one of the better three-point shooters in the league. But they started to get traction over the last couple of days on this Westbrook deal with Washington, and Washington, you know, acquiesced to the idea that they were willing to do this. Russell Westbrook really liked the idea of not just going home to LA, but, but going to a championship contender. And mm. you know, he and Bradley Beal had been talking about what Beal's future was in Washington and Beal did not ask out and is not asking out of Washington but Russell Westbrook was ready to move on Wizards got the deal done and now you have a big three in LA that's going to be uh, fascinating to watch this well that you know this is not from Russ himself so we can only trust Woj with this one but he specifically said Russ was interested and liked the idea of going to a championship contender in LA and going back home the last couple of months I've been hearing this idea that Oh, it's not Russ's fault because he got traded there. He didn't want to be there. Can we please go back in time and just go back to... It's been, it's been a minute. It's, it's been damn near 300 days since this video. That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? When this trade happened, it was a very mutual, like, oh, this seems like a great deal for both sides. Russ is coming home to a championship contender. Uh, you know, he doesn't have to be the primary playmaker. This was the idea back then. So let's just not twist history. That's all I want to say. I just want to point out the fact that Bradley <laughs> Beal wanted to be in Washington. <laughs> I don't know why. It just it just blew it, bro. Get out of Washington, man. If you fam, if you like it there, you like the fam thing, I guess. Do what you got to do. But from an NBA <laughs> perspective, get out of Washington, please. Bro, <laughs> please, man. Sure. It's about can they or can they not win a championship. So I'm asking you, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, can that big three win the championship you think next so? year? Granny, listen, asking me that question is like asking me, can I fin am I going to finish my plate of food? And the answer <laughs> is hell yeah. Look, when you have a guy like Russell Westbrook and LeBron James on the same team, mm. They weighs heavy on you, right? Two of the most polarizing players to ever play the game of basketball. And then you add an Anthony Davis, right? Anthony oh, yeah. Davis, that's healthy. One of the most <laughs> yeah, generations he's healthy, yeah. at the power. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Russell Fuck Westbrook that, yeah. has yeah. never played with you a big, big like three. Anthony Davis. Good luck to try to stop that pick and roll with Russell Westbrook and Anthony Good Davis. Luck. And by the way, LeBron James need Russell Westbrook for the simple fact that he's getting up in age. Russell Westbrook is still 32, which means he's still in this prime. I see them getting out in transition. I see them posting up. I see them coming out of the West. I actually see them winning the title. We winning the championship, title. says Kendrick Perkins, with a lot yeah. of work still to do on the roster. But how Easy do you clap. see them playing? Uh, Anthony Davis typically doesn't like to play the five. LeBron last year, or when they won the championship like now two years ago in the bubble, played with the ball in his hands. That's Westbrook's role. What do you envision them looking like, the three of them playing together? Well, well obviously they're going to go through Anthony Davis, but a lot of people said mm. that LeBron James and Ray John Rondo couldn't be on the floor together. Mm. And we saw when they won the title, when it mattered the most, that was the big three, Rondo, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. And when you have Russell Westbrook, one thing you cannot do is keep him out of the paint, right? He's going to get to the paint. He's going to put pressure on the get defense. In there. Anthony Davis, I feel <laughs> like, is going to... Hey, hey, I agree. He going to get in there. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen when he's in there. Turnover, miss, miss, but I don't, I don't know. He going to get in there. I feel like I'm going to shock the world <laughs> later in this video, but... Come on, even Russ, man, bro, that was a layup, but come on, man. That was He's easy. Get to if y'all on my bro, dick for that, that's worry. tough. That was easy. That was easy. Come on, man. <laughs> 
See, it's the key. LeBron James is going to be LeBron James. I don't want to hear about father he's time. Right on that. I don't want to hear about none of that. We already know he's a freak of nature, and he's yeah, just a different I, I breed. So too. the Lakers have a big three. Woj, there are two things they don't have much of. They don't have many players under contract, <laughs> and they don't mm -hmm. have much cap space. So to mm -hmm. acquire what they need, and everyone immediately says they need shooting, how do they go about it? How do they fill out this roster? Well, they'll be able to re-sign Taylor Horton Tucker here, mm -hmm. restricted free <laughs> agent. I think you'll see him obviously play a much bigger role on this team. You know, and they're Can't able – Listen, Dennis Schroeder was brought in with the idea that they tr they trade for him. He would sign an extension. Uh, now with Russell Westbrook there, it looks different for him. But they can still – I think if Dennis Schroeder doesn't find cap space out there with a the team, there's a lot of there's a lot of point guards in this market. There's a lot of uh, and a lot of teams who need them and have cap space for them. But they could also use a sign and trade on Dennis Schroeder, a team that, that nice, is huh? over the cap, where that could perhaps bring back a couple players if they don't sign re-sign Schroeder. And you've got to hope that you know they're going to have to load up on those veteran minimum deals, Which player, they did. you know players who. Uh, might want to go to L.A., maybe on one-year deals, maybe for less money than they imagine somewhere else, uh, to go have a chance to win a title, play with this group that's going to get uh, a lot of attention this year. And, and listen, this is how you've seen typically L.A. teams, big market teams, put together rosters around star players. And they all suck. I, I, they, they did all of that veteran minimum shit, and they were veteran minimum contracts. They're all trash holy hell but i will say I, let let mm. let let's talk about something that needs to be talked about here funny enough despite this team being ass despite the team having um <coughs> endless infinite flaws and they are not winning shit i will say as of late i am actually happy that this man westbrook is finally not playing like dog shit not even for my own bias not even for the fans out there because i don't i i I, can't, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate Russ fans. I don't hate Russ. I hate his fans, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all different. But for Russ personally, it was, I'm not even joning or going on him when I say it. It was just getting bad. It was getting sad to watch. Considering the bar was so high for this team and where they are right now, even with the outlier of Russ being dog shit, even if this four games turns into 15, 20, and that's no longer a thing, this team is still far short of the bar. I'm just watching this clip, and I ain't gonna lie, I never thought I'd say this, but it, it reminds me of when the Celtics signed Kemba Walker, if I'm being honest. Not the not the best one-to-one -one comparison, because Kemba was a, a free agency signing, correct me if I'm wrong, but he was a free agency signing, and Russell Westbrook was obviously a trade, but this idea of just trying to get a star player on your team for the sake of getting a star player and you know stars make it work and that failing is, is very similar in that regard and then you know looking at that that Kemba signing and looking at this Russ signing I think we should we should and we can all agree that both teams would have been better off saving that cap space and actually filling out the roster more properly than trying to get the star player on board. It's very similar in that regard. You know, I think the Celtics would have been better, you know, putting Marcus Smart at the point and filling out the rest of the roster instead of trying to force Kemba Walker on the team. And I think for the Lakers, they would have been better off just keeping LeBron at point guard and then filling out the rest of the roster that way. So that Anthony Davis is going to be playing center and LeBron James is going to be playing power forward you may have something really special. Here's the problem. Anthony Davis hates playing center. LeBron James avoids power forward like crazy. So <laughs> if you're really going to have to wait and see what the Lakers uh, do to fill out the rest of their roster. And frankly, I want to hear from Anthony Davis and LeBron James, who had to be consulted on this, on how they intend to play alongside Russell Westbrook. And mind you, at this time, LeBron and Anthony Davis are clearly the best players on the team, two best players on the team. And we're talking about how they're going to adjust to Russ's game. That's 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 always been the craziest part about this whole deal to me, is the fact that a player is coming in, clearly the third best player, and we're talking about the top two guys adjusting their game for him drastically, drastically. That That's always been very weird. Can I one-up you? You know what's crazy? People aren't even watching the four-game stretch. Russ has played great basketball. He's making 
off ball cuts. He's engaging in transition. He's having a bunch of given goes with LeBron James that like he's making the third pass or the second pass. There's so many ways Russ has improved as of late that don't require him dominating the ball, but people are just looking at the stats and being like, see what happens when Russ runs it. He's not running the show. That's not what's happening. But yet that people want that narrative so bad. The same narrative that B-Soul just mentioned, Win Windhorse just mentioned, and like from the takes of super team Lakers if they know how to fit with Russ sign players fit with Russ y'all wanted that narrative to be the narrative so bad even in games where he's flagrantly not the person dominating the ball y'all are still saying he's dominating the ball bro let it go I don't like the fans because y'all just dumb ignorant because that's not what happened they also have to re-sign their own guys Alex Caruso and Taylor Horton Tucker <sighs> but they've got a they've, they've already mm. got 120 Sorry, million dollars Sorry, on their payroll just balls. with those three guys the salary cap is 112 million. That means that their main mechanism to sign a player is going to be a $5 million exception. So they have got a lot of work to do. They are going to hope that somebody wants Dennis Schroeder. And if they can do a sign and trade with him and send him somewhere and get some, some, uh, some players back. But otherwise, their second and third level moves here getting shooting, getting a starting center are going to be what we're going to watch with the Lakers. Give me seven to 10 days and ask me again. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, as we get into the free agency piece of this next week. So let me circle back to the beginning. Again, you've been covering LeBron basically his entire career. You know, that, he, and he knows, that he's getting closer to the end here as we speak. I have to believe he understands a way to make this work. Yes, whatever that way is, he has to be, this has to have his fingerprints on it, and he has to know how he plans to make it work. Yeah, and so that's why I wonder if he's willing to play Big Greeny because when they won the title two years ago, it was, was LeBron as a point guard with athletic centers. They keep going away from that. I guess my question to Sage is how, how much accountability do you hold on LeBron and AD for the construction of this team? Because um, there have been a lot of conversations regarding Le GM and how that's been overblown recently. But personally, I think, you know, there is a level of culpability to be held for LeBron. As much as we want to deny it, because of how important he is to this team, whether you like it or not, he does have some impact on what players are being signed on the team, whether directly or indirectly. You know what I'm saying? Just based off of his play style, they're going to sign players based off of his play style. Nonetheless, everything he brings to the table and his history and, you know, the power that, that a LeBron James has. Truthfully, um, the only person in the NBA that rivals LeBron's impact on anything basketball related is Steph Curry. So it's like, while it's easy to be like Palenka, and I used to be had a mindset, Palenka's the GM, uh, LeBron's a star player, but sometimes you gotta still tell your star no. I really thought about it and I'm like, I, I'd give him a bit more accountability than I usually would. Cause I can't act like that's just Anthony Davis or Jason Tatum coming to you. That's dead ass LeBron James. James telling you who he would want on his team. And they did trade up basically every other key role player. It was fun to make fun of Kuz, but <laughs> we see what he's doing now. One, but two, even if he was still the same flat Kuz, it'd be nice if we had that depth. KCP, I think everybody just misses, bro. Even I don't know if he's having the best season right now, but he'd have a much better season playing with LeBron. And Harold's finally picked his play up as well. It um this ain't even slander. I would just prefer the depth over Russ right now. But um if Russ is turning around, great. But these veteran minimum contracts is where the Lakers went left, personally. That that's the like the players they signed, the DeAndre Jordans. I know DJ Augustine is now now on the team and he just had a crazy night, but like that that could have been handled a long time ago. Um Wayne Ellington, he's a good shooter, but he can't move. AR shot is inconsistent. Kendrick Nunn is the reason why I hated the Lakers fan base for like two months, and he still hasn't played. So it, it's so it's so many acquisitions that just haven't panned out. I think that's what's really killing us versus just Russ. It's never just Russ's fault, but for people that people that act like Russ ain't played a factor in it, no, nah, he he damn well did. <laughs> but with that being said, if you guys like this video, here's another Russ video. We've been talking about Russ a lot this season. Hopefully this is not the case next season. I yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's in a good way. But we'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace out.